first and the foremost i congratulate all the students to whom degree has been awarded and to whom the aspirant to award the degrees this is a life achievement memorable and one should always preserve in his lifetime i look forward all the time as to what he has earned while being in institution being educated he has nurtured and what he is expecting from himself these are the inspirations which students should always preserve in life and do better than your expectation shri ashwin sanghi the guest of honor of the sixth convocation i never met him earlier but in a very short span i have gone through his life sketch and i find a kind of author you can say a philosopher see the kind of books he has written chanakya chan the krishna the healthfulness i don't think any field he has left we talk about history you talk about culture we talk about religion we talk about politics my good wishes to mr ashwin the way you are being nurtured and developing yourself and see the coincidence i met his father just now half an hour before his father is coming from jodhpur where i got my studies i do my graduation from that place and his mother is coming from kanpur from where my wife also belongs see the coincidence that this is called that we have a very close circle and uh, the world is very small and particularly after the internet everything is accessible to you regardless of the fact where you stay she op agarwal sir the chairperson of this university he is not an unknown personality uh, at least for me he is my elder brother i have learned from him and nurtured myself and what i am today i can't forget his contribution is also there Professor Victor Gumpy, the president of the university, he don't need any kind of his identification or description, but he himself is a personality in itself. Needs no further identification, at least from my side. You, the students, know him, his personality, his grooming, and all students today present must have been groomed by him, one way or the other, and that is the achievement which you will take with you when you go. for your further future prospects ametan arpit are two i mean i will not say young so much now they have been brought up in front of my eyes and they are both very dynamic persons i am being a vice president my good wishes to both of you and do something better than what you are doing dr jawar is one personality to which i know from my childhood then rk guru wala i met him at a number of times not in uh, mr agarwal's party but elsewhere also and ml sharma sir is one to which i know for a very very long time and this personality is one which i can't forget my good wishes to all the dignitaries here and i request that please shower your blessings on me also members of the faculty parents my dear graduating students the ladies and gentlemen it gives me a immense pleasure to be in your midst this morning i am delighted to address 
the sixth convocation of this institution that has secured an incomparable reputation in imparting education and has groomed young prodigies like you this institution seen a short span of 11 years has start touching the sky the kind of a conferment of degree to the students the kind of admission the kind of prosperity the kind of vision i wish all management which is running in the backbone of the institution to do something better than warrior stay i never say best if i say best means there is no further to proceed but we say better there is always scope to do something do very well stay jcrc university has always been known for its practical approach to education which values real world experience and practical learning you have not only gained a strong foundation in your chosen field but also developed critical thinking skills creativity and the ability to adapt to new challenges let me at the outset congratulate all of you who are graduating today i go back to my own flashback in our college life we often think about what skills of learning we are getting but trust me the experience of your college life are going to stay with you always the friends we make at college stay at college stay our friends for a lifetime i fondly remember moments from my college life the idealism of a young mind is something to cherish and i always look up to youngsters as they chart a different course different course in their lives needless to say this is a moment of a great joy and satisfaction in your life your academic efforts have come to fruition academic learning is not just about what you learn from your teachers but also from your classmates and friends during conversations which happen over a cup of tea or while having noodles in a college canteen and my request to the young students today is you have been educated after getting a degree but you have to earn knowledge a knowledge you will not get in the books you will get from your classmates you will get outside the institution you will get amongst your well wishers in the society the education open the window for your better future but earn knowledge now and knowledge will give you a better what you think from yourself and i always say what you think for yourself the destiny has always think better than that so please trust on yourself nevertheless convocation day marks the completion of one stage in your life and another is about to begin it might be an emotional moment for you but this is not the end our lives are a constant process this is not the end of your learning process rather you are now going from a closed and protected classroom to an open classroom of the real world with all its ups and downs the process of transition will definitely pose some problems take them as challenges and remember value system and training that you have acquired as a student you will be able to face all the bottlenecks of the world as you take your first step into the real world remember that sky is the limit you have to learn gain lose 
fight and attain your achievements. There is a saying in Hindi and I quote, मैं अकेला ही चला था जाने में मंजिल लोग साथ आते गए हैं और कारवा बनता गया दिस इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू फुलफिल योर ड्रीम्स एंड डिजायर्स वाइल एडिंग योर ओन कलर्स एंड एग्जीक्यूटिंग योर थॉट प्रोसेस इफ एनी वे इन एनी वे यू यू लाइक यू बींग फ्यूचर एंटरप्रेन्योर्स join this prestigious institution with certain preconceived thoughts and notions which now have been completely transformed for the better society and i had said about challenges in life there was a one couplet which i always use and uh, is very close to my heart also. somebody has said that when you feel that you are lost in your dreams or otherwise and the hindi couplet i would like to say in hindi is because i'll be able to convey what i feel insaan asafal jab insaan asafal tab nahi hota jab wo haar jata hai asafal tab hota hai jab wo ye soch le ki ab wo jeet nahi sakta so this is the positive of life don't think that you will losing every day and every morning and evening you are you're not losing your earning something you are going to be the leading professional in the future but remember the world cries out not just for your knowledge and expertise but also for your vision and love and i add here compassion i'm confident that you all have visions and aspirations for the future try your best to achieve and do whatever makes you happy but remember now and then also do things just to make others happy we are all aspirational aspiration is a good thing but it should not turn into ego you must think about the consequences of your decisions upon the people of the society and there is a hindi couplet here which completely supports jitna kathin sangharsh hoga jeet utni hi shandar hogi some of you might be able to associate more with contemporary popular culture i'm sure that all of you must have watched the movie and i've seen the months before spider man this is a dialogue in the movie which has now become a classic and was even quoted in a judgment by justice ellen kang of the american supreme court and i quote with great power comes great responsibility unquote i believe that with every achievement there comes great responsibility as you graduate this is your achievement that capacity mandates a moral responsibility to help people to discharge this responsibility successfully my young friends you must never lose touch with the people of your wonderfully diverse country from the country's point of view i welcome you all at our next generation of entrepreneurs may you grow up to provide effective leadership as your future is intertwined with the future of this country you have an opportunity to shape it youth is driven by idealism and ambition but idealism without ambition may not achieve much but i am afraid ambition without idealism can be dangerous may you combine both in the right proportion while you become a successful person do not forget to become a good human being and as a good citizen many of our citizens are not as educated but they are still having different skills and are equal contributions to nation building so i want you to remember that while getting an education is an achievement do not come in it in your thinking that you are superior to anyone education is a virtue not a symbol of superiority 
respect for fellow human beings is the most important lesson which we must spread to everyone and that must be seen evidently in all our interactions and dealings my heartiest congratulations are due to all of you for being able to tide over the impediments and challenges of the, of the last few years and emerge victorious today i rejoice in the fact that each batch of new students that successfully graduate represents curious and transformed minds i once again felicitate the students graduating today and wish them all success in life may this convocation day be an auspicious beginning to a new era wherein you scale many pinnacles and some out hurdles to stand confident and filled with self esteem i would like to end with a very famous quote by dr hari varish rai bachchan and it was once i read it there so i want to say it is in hindi asafalta ek chunauti hai स्वीकार करो या कमी रह गई या कमी रह गई देखो और सुधार करो जब तक न सफल हो नींद चैन को त्यागो त्यागो तुम संघर्ष का मैदान छोड़ मत भागो तुम कुछ किए बिना ही जय जयकार नहीं होती कोशिश करने वाले की कभी हार नहीं होती एन एडिशन माई कपलेट इज देयर बिकॉज आई कांट रिस्टेन माई सेल्फ ऑन सिंग मोर इंतजार करने वालों को सिर्फ उतना ही मिलता है जितना कोशिश करने वाले छोड़ देते हैं आई वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर दिस यूनिवर्सिटी टू ऑट मी अ डिग्री आई डोंट थिंक आई डिजर्व अ नॉट बट आई एक्सेप्ट द कोर ऑफ माई हार्ट अगेन आई एम सो थैंकफुल टू ऑल ऑल द बेस्ट आई माई गुड विशेज टू ऑल दी new aspirants and the students please do better in your life think better for yourself think better for the society and think better for the nation once again my good wishes to all thank you very much for giving the award jai hind